What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to this four going. Today, we're going to talk about this beast of a machine, Kamu, a character that everybody gets completely for free once they reach level 52 accounts. So, this is going to be one of those videos that's really going to cater to you newer players. And I thought it'd be a good idea to give you guys a guide on how to play him because you should be using him. You know, when you first start playing this game, you're going to get, you know, Lucia Lotus, you're going to get B Live, you're going to get B Nanami, and you're going to get A Bianca in the very beginning of the game, in the first week of playing the game. But really those characters, you're not really going to want to put a whole lot of resources into. You're not really going to want to level their memories up. You want to save as many resources as possible for your future s rank characters. And Kamu, the beautiful thing about this guy is, one, he is an s rank character. You get him completely for free. You get his five-star weapons. You get his memories. All of these things are completely for free. This coding isn't for free. But you get you know the character himself, which is actually really, really nice. And I do have him in SS. And the beautiful thing about this is, once you get him for free you can actually farm for him and level him up in the point shop here and you'll be able to use these materials that you acquire through the game and you'll actually be able to get 30 more shards for him to take him from s to double s completely for free which is actually really really awesome so let's talk about kamu and why he's gonna be such a great uh asset to your account so kamu is a really cool character he is a transcendent character he's 50 percent dark 50 percent physical and his red orbs you know they're the money maker as far as his damage they're going to do the most damage whenever you're using your regular skills you know all of his orbs whether they're yellow red or blue will do dark damage when you do a three ping so it's really really important when you're playing with kamu to Always try to do three pings as much as possible, whether you go into the matrix, do a three ping, and where a one ping counts as a three ping, or you just do a three ping when you're not in your matrix. So that's really the best way to play this character at all times. Always be trying to go for those three pings and just using your basic attacks. And his red orbs do spin and slash nearby enemies, then knocks them into the air, dealing two hits, which is really, really nice. Uh, very, very cool, right? And then his yellow orbs... You know, dashes forward, slash the enemies twice, healing certain percentage of damage, physical damage, and total based on normal ping, uh, dark damage on a three ping. Again, all of his orbs is dark damage whenever you do a three ping, which is another reason that you want to be doing three pings all the time. And then in Berserk mode, teleports to an enemy, deals a certain percentage. We'll get to talk talking about Berserk mode because it's awesome. And then his blue orbs are very, very special. So his blue orbs are actually really cool because they actually give him an HP shield, which is really, really important for survivability. This is something that's awesome about this free-to-play character is that they give you a character that's very, very strong and his survivability is insane it really is he really does have some of the best survivability in the game like in global it's just it really is astounding how well this character can survive especially when you're tagging him in and out because you have an hp shield whenever you tag him in and out all transcendent characters have this but even when you just use him as a solo character his survivability is really just nuts because he always has his HP shield and these blue orbs can interrupt so if you're like if you're getting attacked you can use these blue orbs to get out of the attack right and then just dodge away and get away from any incoming damage these are really really awesome uh the blue orbs are a big money maker for him and then his basic attack launches consecutive attacks that deal a certain percentage of damage right berserker mode he's going to do a whole lot more damage uh his signature costs 80 energy which is actually really really nice especially when you look at his memories and then he becomes immune to damage guys this guy's completely invincible when he does a signature so you have the hp shields from his blue orbs but you also become invincible during this and whenever you're using a signature move if you go into the matrix there's going to be a little gauge at the bottom the gauge is going to be depleting as you're using the berserker mode but whenever you use the matrix the gauge will stop and you can still stay in the berserker mode for a longer period of time which is actually really, really awesome. And he's going to have super armor. So he, he pretty much just plows into everybody and just starts destroying them. All of his regular orbs are going to change into these uh, a different type of looking orb. And you're just going to ping them one after another and destroy guys. It is awesome. Like, and we're not, we don't need to get into too much detail about it. And then his QTE, I mean, it just you know, it does a little attack. And then you just want to level this up here. So that way he does more damage to the opponents, right? And then obviously if you have the third one here, he has, he'll have his Ultima unlocked, which is the same for every single character in the game. Once you unlock their Ultima, they're going to have three extra orbs at the very beginning of the battle. So instead of four orbs at the beginning of the battle, you're going to have seven orbs at the beginning of the battle. 
his core passive. Any three ping in normal mode will accumulate madness up to three stacks. So whenever you do three three pings, once Kamu reaches full madness, he will gain eight energy from eight from any three ping. When he enters berserk mode, he will consume all madness stacks and gain a certain percentage of damage, which is nice. His leadership, right? All member dark all member dark damage increased by 10% attack and Vanguard Transcendent increased by 5%. Now something to note about Transcendent characters is that in most of the game modes in the game, they're actually going to get a decrease in their leadership as far as their damage. And then it's passive when painting yellow orbs, extra bonus damage increased by 10% for 8 seconds. So, you know, you guys are going to be able to get this whenever you take them to SS. Whenever you ping yellow orbs, extra bonus damage increases by 10%. So doing yellow orbs is going to be really important for his damage. Triple S. When in Berserk mode, extra bonus damage increased by 15%. That's awesome. And then Triple S Plus, damage of every three ping increases by 20%. So he becomes an absolute beast. But again, guys, you just really want to have, have him at double S. All right, so let's take a look at his skills. Now, here's something you guys are going to notice, right? Low, virality intensity, low, low viral intensity region, transcendent attack decreases by 9%. So his leadership actually lowers by 9% whenever you are using him in most game modes, which actually is a testament to how strong he is because he doesn't get as much of a leadership as, he really, as you'd really want for him, but he's still going to be more than strong enough to do the game modes in the game, right? All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and go into the story mode because in the challenge mode, uh, Kamu just destroys the opponents way too easy. So we're actually going to take on uh, Gabriel here uh, to really show how to play uh, Kamu, all right? So we'll go ahead and bring him in. And again, guys, what I want you to notice is that lower power intensity region, I mean, I know my face is in the way, transcend attack decreases by 9%. So whenever Kamu's in these story modes, he does get a decrease to his attack leadership. But it doesn't, it's not going to hurt him any, guys, because he's still going to absolutely destroy these missions, as you guys will see in the story mode here, right? Again, guys, you now when you play with Kamu, you want to be just doing three pings over and over and over. That's all you're really concerned about. There's going to be these three little icons at the bottom of the screen. And once you do four three pings, you'll be able to enter his signature immediately. And that's really important for this character because once you enter his signature, he's completely invincible while he's using this thing, which is really, really nice. So right now we got our orbs available. We're going to dodge this attack. One three ping is going to count, or one ping is going to count as a three ping. We'll do this three ping, right? That counts as two. Right, and you see at the bottom, guys, we got two of these lit up right here, okay? Okay, we're going to get out of here, right? We need to enter one more three ping. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit a three ping there. So now we got those three bottom slashes lit up, okay? And once we get another one of those light up here, okay? Right, now you really want to be doing your basic attacks, guys, but I'm just kind of showing you. So the, the, all three of these are lit, and our signature is ready to go, okay? Now, what I want to show you guys is something pretty cool. Okay, now look at the gauge at the bottom. It is not moving, right? And whenever you're using your signature, you are completely invincible. Right? You don't have to worry about taking any damage. So once you use your signature, you literally just want to spam your orbs. That's all you're trying to do is just spam your orbs as much as possible, right? And this is generally how you want to play combo. You're just pretty much doing all your basic attacks. You're waiting for three pings. And then you're going to go into your signature. Right? We just did a three ping there. Okay, get out of here. And we're just going to do another three ping. And we're going to move Gabriel into the next phase. So now our signature is ready to go, right? And again, once you use your signature, guys, he is completely invincible. You do not have to worry about taking any damage at all. You just literally just spam your orbs, okay? So we're just going to wait here, dodge that, even though we just got hit. Okay, we're going to hit our signature, and then we're just going to start destroying him. And there we go. We use a one ping that counts as a three ping because we were in a matrix. And get our signature and just start plowing.
There are three ping accounts as well. One ping has a three ping. And booyah. It's that easy with Kama, right? That's how good he is and how strong he is. He just destroys pretty much everything that you put him in because he just has insane survivability. You know, whenever you're using your blue orbs, you're going to have an HP shield. And every time you have an HP shield, if you do take damage, the shield will just absorb that damage. You're not actually losing any of your actual life which is a big reason why he has such good survivability on top of the fact that his signature makes him completely invincible. When you're spamming those orbs, he doesn't take any damage. He just can face tank anything and just go flying through a maze. Just an awesome character, especially for new players to get. So you like my advice to people always is, you know, whenever you're starting a new account, and you just want to, you know, use your Lucia, use your B-Liv, use your B-Nonomy or your A-Bianca. Use those characters. Don't really put a whole lot of resources into them. But once you get your account to level 52, then start leveling up Kamu and using this character for your story modes to destroy all kinds of content. So that way you can get more materials and it's going to make your life a lot easier if you are using this character. He really is an awesome free-to-play character. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the run with Kamu doing a solo against nightmare boss kamu which is actually really great the 6500 bp uh boss this says 8000 it's actually 6500 but i'm going to leave you guys with a complete solo against this boss and this is a really good boss for kamu because this boss actually is weak to dark damage so kamu himself does really really good against him and this boss actually has a depleting effect. He starts taking your life away. So even if you don't get hit, you still lose your life. But this is just going to show you guys the survivability of the Kamu that you're playing with. Because you can actually keep him alive while you're playing against a character like this. Even though you have a depleting effect. Even though you don't have a healer. Nothing like that. It just shows how much damage and survivability that this character actually has. So guys, let me know what you think about Kamu. And I do stream on Twitch at 9pm, G2 plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. Hello, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody.